I was in the city, I mean, if you win, you never have time to go to look something. I also wanted to see the Niagara Falls, and I don't have time, but definitely this stadium is my favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> this whole week, um, and how it capped off today, what did it say about you overall as your maturity, and also where you stand now as a player? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I mean, I really also today it was so hot and very tough condition. I just tried to fight, and that's all you can do really. I, I feel like I'm telling it every press conference, but it's what I tell myself on the court all the time. I mean, even if she won the second set, it happens, and I have to fight. And, yeah. And for an atmosphere like that outside of Fed Cup, have you ever gone against a crowd that's been so raucous and? Most of it may be against you for her support. And how do you handle that when in the middle of the second set where they definitely got a little bit more rowdy on your serve? Can you talk about that and how you overcame that and got this great victory? No, I mean, I never had this. It's uh, never on, on the tournament. I, I, I saw it like this, but I love it. Really, it's amazing uh, that the atmosphere is, is so great. That even if it's against me, I mean, a lot of Romanians were here, so... Obviously, they were cheering uh, for her. It's uh, it's very nice uh, from them for her, and um, also, I mean, I have to deal with it. Of course, the people are very excited, and uh, really I I feel like it's the right thing. I I think some turn uh, some people in some other tournaments should take an example from here. <laughs> Uh, Belinda, has it hit you that not only have you won the title, but you did it by beating some of the top players on tour? Yeah. Um, I just saw, like, I didn't know before that I beat, like, six Grand Slam finalists in a row. <laughs> it's like, I cannot believe it, and it's amazing. I, uh, I have no words for this, and uh, definitely talk of a tough draw. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Belinda, during the match, how tough was it to stay focused given that she was having problems with injuries, and, and how did you kind of manage to just keep your mind on the match? Um, yes, definitely. It was for sure very hot today for both players. We both uh, were fighting so hard. We had long rallies, so it was obvious uh, that we, we were very exhausted, uh, both. And I mean, I'm uh, really sorry she had to end like this and uh, she was a little bit injured or sick, I don't know. I tried not to focus so much, but obviously it was a very dangerous situation as well because she was going for her shots, not looking for the rally so much. And, I was. Uh, I thought if I'm just gonna keep the ball in, um, she's somehow not gonna make it. But she did, and uh, I think I played a little bit too defensive. And um, yeah, what can I say? I just I am happy that I also after I lost the second set, which was very like in my case very stupid. Um, I I stayed focused and I made the 3-0, so I can be proud of how I fought today as well because. I mean, also I was after I was dead, so. Um, as one of the younger players, right here, as one of the younger players on tour, what does a big win like this do for your confidence? Well, obviously it's very big boost for the confidence. I, now I actually feel like I belong here, and uh, that I can be really one of the top players is an amazing feeling, and uh, I mean, for sure I'm not going to expect uh, of myself to do every tournament is so good like this because it's, you know, I mean, I have to learn the consistency a little bit, but they are players, so, I mean, of course we're not going to play every tournament uh, perfect, so I really have to keep going, uh, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you. you finally got disconnected a little bit uh, during those long breaks when you had to wait for our medical timeouts. No, it's nothing new for me to wait when the opponent has medical talent. It happens often and also against Lisiki I had the same. I try not to sit too long, I try to move and uh, go to the court and show her that I am ready. And uh, yeah, I'm used to it. Belinda, can you walk us through what your last, you know, 18, I guess, hours were like since match point against Serena? I mean, what? How late did you get to bed? How did you recover? What, or how early did you have to get up? All of that. All right, so after the match, um, 
went to the gym and all these like saw you guys and uh, we went to the hotel. Oh yeah, I got the cupcake because my fitness coach said if I win, I get a cupcake. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to the hotel. Um, obviously, I, I eat. Um, we took the food with us, and I take a shower. And for sure, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was obvious, and my phone was exploding, like from the messages. <laughs> I was looking at my phone. I was like, no, I put it down. <laughs> um, I didn't reply to all of the people, just my family and the priority. <laughs> so sorry to them if they read this or see this. And uh, <laughs> after I finally went to sleep today in the morning, I had to wake up uh, quite early, and it was at 12 o'clock this match, and I, I was very sore, tired, and everything I was like <laughs> tired. And um, well, we came here. I mean, good breakfast. We came here. I had gym and warm up, and then I was ready for the match. And, if you are in a match, then the tiredness goes away and like the adrenaline kicks you in and uh, like helps you a lot in the match. At any point during the match, did you did you feel tired or were you okay? I was throughout? tired, but I think I was less tired than her. So that was like mentally for me, it was very good, and I tried to show her that I am uh, I'm ready and I'm not tired yet. But uh, after I was cramping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> again, congratulations. Um, I was impressed again by uh, the way you react. To, actually, you did not react to the Romanian fan that they were very, you know, strong, and you felt sometimes like a lot. He is your coach? Is Martinez mom? Is Martinez self? Who's helping you more to be? Because you're very young, but you're already so balanced. What's the secret? I don't know what's the secret. I just take it as a normal thing. I don't see that if they are against me. I just see that they are rooting for her, and I think it's normal in the tennis match that people have their faves and uh, like the people they don't like so much. So I really wasn't so bothered. And also, if you are in a match, you don't hear it so much like maybe you do. So um, I don't know. Some people also cheered for me, so I he I hear that as well. And <laughs> I'm happy too, so uh, I don't know, I just expected that and it was uh, um, like normal for me and uh, my dad, my coach, everyone prepared me also well for this. So. Uh, Belinda, what was going through your mind when you had a chance to surf and match there in the second set? Yeah, <laughs> um, obviously I was so, so, I mean I didn't play such a bad game, she just hit very well in that moment and uh, of course, I was a little bit getting tight, and I think it's normal, but uh, I tried to improve that in the next match. And um, yeah, at 5 4, it was the same situation. Uh, she played very good, and I didn't deal with it so good. And uh, then I just kept myself going and said, It's normal, it happens in tennis every week, you, you see it. And I just uh, fought every point. And uh, have you had a cupcake yet? Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I will get one. <laughs> what, 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 uh, what flavor? Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions in English? Yeah. With your father in the room here and also the trainer, what did you say to them or what did they say to you when you came off court and had this great moment? And, 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 uh, well, obviously we hug, which is very emotional. I mean, at least for me, happy for them too. <laughs> did he shed his hair himself, or did he just did he, said, did he shed his hair as himself, or? Uh, I don't know. You see, you can ask him. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but I was very happy. I thank them so much, and uh, obviously in the gym we always have like a moment for us when there's no people around, and we talk there, and they were incredibly happy, and they were just smiling and laughing. How would you describe the last year and a half? Uh, you know, you, the newcomer of the year last year, now here you are at a premier event knocking off four of the top five seats. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just feel like I very improved myself uh, also in the game, but also in the how I understand the game and know the opponents well and try to to think on the court and what I need to do and maybe my experience also, I played a lot of matches and I could learn from tough lo uh, losses also and I think I've grown also as a player, I think my serve improved a little bit, not this week but <laughs> uh, before in the grass season it was quite good and uh, I feel like I still have potential to go 
better, to play better, and to serve better, and just everything. A year and a half ago, did you think you'd be knocking on the door of the top ten? No. <laughs> no. There was uh, a year and a half ago, I was surprised that I was like quite far in the rankings then as well. And uh, what am I going to be after this? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't know it. I mean, you, you count everything, so... Yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive. I, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Any more questions in English? Okay, let's switch to German now. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you have to be on the Ich denke nicht die härtesten, für mich die härtesten ist immer...